Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. Hot with Talon. Actually, so Talon's make Talon's gonna make a video on this one too, I think. So let me know. Do you guys like when like Talon and I go camping and then you see like Talon's point of view and then my point of view? Talon's is always first because he's better at releasing the videos. Anyway, we're out here. I told you I was gonna take Ashley camping, but uh, something came up so she can't go camping this weekend. But I promised you guys a weekender lander. So Talon is in town for a bit and we're going out. And fortunately, Talon, I'm sure you've seen it, his Tacoma, we're gonna do a walk around of it soon. I don't think today, but soon. Uh, I got the new iCamper, SkyCamp 3.0. And Talon's got the iCamper SkyCamp 2.0. So while we're out, we're gonna do a little video uh, showing you the 3.0, some updates on it. And then just camp. We picked a spot out here, it's really just a dirt road. You've seen me camp out here, it's probably been a couple years now, but it's like kind of my old stomping grounds. And it's just a spot that I know doesn't get a ton of snow. So there's a spot I know we can make it through, but it's super windy. But here's kind of the view from here, and then we're gonna go, I don't know, a handful of miles in. So we made it to camp. I don't think we're gonna do any eye camper docking on this trip. <laughs> but we got Town's truck leveled out here. This is just how I pulled in, but it's pretty level. I'm gonna lift it a little bit uh, and then I'll show you some of the eye camper 3.0 here in a second. This is a spot that I've camped before. We went to a couple other spots. We were actually. We stopped like Instagrammers to take a couple of pictures of the trucks and this motorcycle. It's cool, motorcycle with a little sidecar rode by and then he took the, he took the spot I wanted to camp at <laughs> uh, and we pulled in. He was, uh, I couldn't, we couldn't get a read on him. He, I'm super friendly and I was just like, hey, sweet bike, oh, are you camping here? And he's like, yeah, I beat you to it or something like that. And I was like, okay, cool. But this spot's pretty cool. It's got, Got a nice little view of this guy. We'll have, where's the sun? Sun setting, sun setting over there. So it'll, sun will be rising right up onto us. It'll be nice. Sometimes I try to plan the camp spots for, for good morning light. Cause that kind of helps me get going in the morning. But this spot, this camp spot, I've camped here with Ashley and then I camped here. I think the last time I camped here was actually with John Lovell of Warrior Poet. <laughs> And that is where I put a crazy sprain on my ankle and my ankle is never gonna be the same. It's like, I think it's as healed as it's ever gonna heal and it's still not 100%. So this, this spot kind of lives in, in infamy a little bit, but it's also very cool. It's like cool rock features. It's kind of nice and protected. Where we were earlier, we were out out that way and the wind was insane like hurricane level winds which always always sucks to camp in and make campfires but it's super peaceful here it's kind of down in a valley we got a lot of trees blocking so hopefully that hopefully that holds up and we have a nice nice night ahead of us but Talon's getting his tent set up I'm gonna get some stuff set up Talon goes so minimal look at him he's got a He's got a battery guy and a little Holtzbrook getting fancy. A little panel. solar panel and a camp chair. You got some stuff in your back seat though, right? Yeah, sleeping bag, recovery gear. Now I just grabbed the whole kitchen sink because you kind of know how I do. And 
<laughs> what I got is, uh, well, I got some water. I got propane tank, got some firewood. This is actually the iCamper Disco. I think it's probably what we're gonna use to cook. And then just my camping bin. And I got a BioLite fire pit. It's kinda nice under the dime back, you know? I just toss it, just toss it in there and we're good to go. So I'll do like I do in videos a lot of times and kinda do gear breakdowns, show you what I brought. I actually brought Talon. I brought a heated blanket for Talon to try out. And then I got this other one that I bought a while ago. These ones are supposed to be the jam that I've never used yet. And you know, you know how we do it. Went for some Highland chocolate milk. I'm still waiting for a chocolate milk sponsorship, honestly. Like I was really hoping a chocolate milk company would reach out to me by now, or just milk. Remember those Got Milk commercials? Like, Got Milk. Yeah. There's like an association of milk. You getting a chocolate milk sponsor? No, I want one, I'm saying. <laughs> Saying, all right, here's my formal request. Milk, or the association of milk, or the association of dairy farmers, promised land dairy, Nesquit, whoever. True moo. True moo. This one, Highland, this is actually pretty good. I've had this stuff before. Highland, hit me up. I need a milk sponsor. That's all. Just if you know anyone, I know they spend those big marketing dollars on the whole Got Milk campaigns. Those are like Super Bowl ads and stuff. <laughs> yeah. There's some big marketing agency behind milk. Get at me, <laughs> for real. No, I'm serious though. All right, we're gonna get back to it. Now yeah, we're recording. Good. Good. Cool. So the iCamper Sky Camp, this setup on the 3.0 is basically the same as the 2.0, other than the latches being a little bit different. But you'll just toss this up. We've oriented our trucks to where the hard side is facing the wind. So the wind is coming from this direction here. So that helps with wind noise at night. And then now this is kind of the area we're gonna hang out because our trucks are kind of blocking the wind. Little, little camping tip. Pull out the ladder. I usually just pull it out all the way. I don't really care about hitting. You can kind of pull it out to mitigate hitting there. And then you'll collapse at the top first until you get a nice flat portion. And there's some kind of halfway points you can use here. And then you get the ladder. Nothing like this. I see some people setting up their ladders like this. Don't do anything like that. So the iCamper's ladders are angled. So this is kind of flat once the ladder's at a proper angle. So you just kind of shoot for that. And then get this to where it comes down about level. And then basically from here you're set up. Uh, I'll pop a couple of these poles in for the rain fly, like how Talon's tent is set up there, and then camp's set up, so it's pretty quick. So if you want more info on the 3.0, it's probably the previous video on my channel. Talon's thawing out the steaks. Talon brought some steaks, he had some potatoes and some other stuff, but he left it. He left it at home. Packed too fast, but we got some steaks. I brought some breakfast food actually, but we may just roll out before breakfast. So I love corned beef hash. Uh, I only ever eat it when I'm camping, it's but so it's so good. I uh, got some eggs, some uh, poopy eggs from home. So for those people that are new here, I got some chickens at home. Some butter, and I got some, this was really for breakfast, some tortillas and cheese, but I don't know, we may whip whip some of this together for dinner here. This is a new shovel. This Agency 6 sent this out. I don't know, this is, they had, they had cool shovels. I actually saw them on the back of a Sprinter and was like, oh, those shovels are cool. And they only came in black and red. So I hit them up and was like, hey, have you guys ever thought about making an orange one? And they basically said, we got you fam, so. I'll give some more details on that later. Tonight's cooking setup is, this is like a skinny, this is an 11 pound propane tank. It's about the same height as a 20 pound, kind of standard one, but thinner. And I have this hooked up to the iCamper Disco. So this is basically like a wok. I forget if it's cast iron or like carbon steel, but you know, one of those. And so it's kind of just like a big wok, fry, stir fry type 
pan. So it's hooked up to a little burner that you can use propane or like the the butane, isobutane propane mix for like jet boils. But it's basically a burner here. The burner actually can either be used on the tripod or it has its own feet. So you could just throw it on a tailgate or something. But the tripod's kind of cool because, yeah. Tripod's cool because all the splashing and mess and stuff is just like shooting over here instead of like all over the back of the truck. There's also handles that you can attach so you can use this to cook over an open flame, a campfire or something like that. So these legs are all adjustable for height and everything. So it's a pretty cool, versatile setup. It has a little table. This is, this was actually like a, a beta unit. So I'm not sure, some of this stuff may have changed a little bit, but I've never actually used it. I've used other people's. So this is the first time using my own. We're breaking it in tonight. With some frozen steaks and some hot fries. Uh, so we're gonna get to cooking, losing daylight, even though you can't tell because the auto exposure is crazy. Sweet. Got the seasoning going down. A little butter. Slap them on here, move them around. I may add a little more butter though. We got a little fire going in the bio light. We got the steaks. The steaks are gonna be a little, a little well done on the outside. We just cut them open and they're a little, a little too rare on the inside still, but I think they're gonna be good. I should have thrown them on my dash, I'm driving here in the sun. They seemed pretty, they seemed pretty tender when I cut into them. And we got a little bit of chili mango here. So I think we're just gonna have some steak and eggs. I got a few eggs we'll toss on here. It's smelling real good though, guys. It's smelling real good. All right, cracked a few eggs in here. We'll see. I don't actually even know if I have a spatula anywhere, so <laughs> we'll, uh, I gotta go. Bye. All right, decided just to scramble them instead. The outsides definitely wasn't quite as hot, and it really dropped the eggs in there quite proper. But it'll be a meal. Oh yeah. A little crispy, but I kind of like the crispiness, honestly. It's obviously a little more well done than, than is typical. We'll see. Crispy's kind of good. It's a little, little butter, a little butter crispiness. That's not too bad. I mean, it's, it's better than I thought it would be. Yeah. It's better than I thought it would be. And then we just got the cheese and eggs with a little bit of spice. I don't know, we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna kind of eat it family style off the walk. Might as well. Might as well. <laughs> Go ahead and full blast on the, <laughs> the fire. Is it gonna melt or something? I don't know. Maybe I gotta turn that fan down a little bit. It's kind of nice. This is seriously hashtag not sponsored at all in any way by BioLite, but it's really one of my favorite camping things. It's just super warm. So the nice thing is you get warmth down here. I just seriously, people probably think this is sponsored. It really isn't. I just really like this fire pit, and it's nice because it's just like super efficient. Uh, doesn't leave anything behind. And we got a fire pit right here, fire ring. But this is just way better, way less smoke. Yeah, this is a big log. I mean, that's why it's going crazy right now, but this is a big log I put in here. Got a little bit left. It's only like 7.30 right now, so. Gonna probably just go till the wood is out. Just hanging out, catching up with Talon. Talking about life, YouTube, the Ashleys. The Ashleys. <laughs> it's a good time. There's a lot of colors. I don't know where to go. 
See a lot of color. So I got a quick question for you guys. So we're here by the fire, obviously. And I usually wear nylon, you know, like outdoor wear. And I don't like it because I usually get holes in my jacket if I have a really epic fire. So right now I'm wearing this this like cool jacket I did. I talked about in my it's kind of a canvas material. I talked about in my recent jacket video just to kind of minimize damage. And I've spent nights around a campfire countless countless campfires in my life, but never really thought too much on best clothing to wear that doesn't burn from little sparks that pop out. So let me, let me know if you guys got any tips on that. So here real quick, you can see the, oops, you can see the rock lights in action. Pretty nice little illumination. All right, in bed now. Blowing my nose, feeling a little stuffy. I got the little heated thing, got a little lantern. It's plugged into the Jackery 1000. This heated pad actually is getting pretty warm. I think a little warmer than the other one, so it must be pulling more wattage. And I think that's it. Had nice convos. Both just kind of tired now, uh, a little chilly. And I remembered to bring everything, including the kitchen sink, except for a pillow. So I'm gonna be sleeping on this, on this fleece, fleece flannel. All right, well, catch you in the morning. Oof. Good morning. It is, I don't know, late seven something. I usually don't like to get out of bed when I'm camping until the sun is beating down on me. So it's nice and warm. Here's Talon. What's up? Talon's up. Get okay, his tent put away. Uh, it was pretty windy last night, but stayed warm. And the big bag with the little heated, heated blanket on. I mostly just kick it on to preheat. Uh, and then if I wake up cold or something, or just wake up and feel like getting warm, I'll kick it on again. But it was good. Here's the roof. Well, the mattress must have dub done its job well, because not really any condensation underneath, like there usually is. So that's cool. We're gonna pack it up now. So basically, just need to pull these guys out and then the tent will fold onto itself. All right, so we're all packed up now. Uh, getting ready to roll out. Talon is going to pick up Ashley from her her foreigner, dropping off to get wrapped. Yeah, just posted the video this morning. This morning, so like a week or two ago, <laughs> right now, because this video will go live in like a week or two. So we're gonna pack up. Make sure you pick up all your trash, as always. Pick up all your trash, leave it, better than you found it, so don't be a trash human. Go ahead and pick up your trash. Trash leaves trash. Trash leaves trash. So we're gonna roll out and I will catch up with you guys probably, probably back in the driveway. Cool. All right, we pulled off. This is where Talon and I are gonna part ways. So his video is probably already up because he's uh, he's quick on the edits. So I'll link to it up here. And if you're not subscribed to Town, go get subscribed. 
probably do some van videos soon. We're like, fil we're both filming, so we're kind of saying some of the same stuff, but yeah, <laughs> is what it is. All right, Tom. Peace out, homie. Later, man. Good to see you. All right, guys, we're back home now, back in the driveway. It's actually, the weather's been super nice this week, but the uh, storm is coming. Supposed to snow a handful of inches uh, this evening. So I gotta get this thing cleaned out, put back in the garage, and then I gotta pull this van out. I'm gonna be doing a van update video, talking about some bumpers and racks and stuff. So gotta try and film that before it starts snowing on me. But this is a good trip, just a super casual one. Uh, it was nice catching up with Talon. And really just, if you don't spend time sitting around the campfire, it is so therapeutic. And you need to do it. I've never, never in my life have I sat around a campfire and been like, man, what a waste of time. So it's a good time. Get out, have a little campfire. Obey your fire restrictions in your area though. If there's a burn ban, don't have a fire. If you are gonna have a fire, make sure you do it safely, have fire extinguishers nearby, pay attention to the flame when you're done, make sure you douse it completely with water, make sure it's all the way, all the way out. So hugely important to be safe with campfires, but they're one of the greatest joys of camping. So yeah, I've actually already cleared out. So I just had my camping bin, biolite stove, water jug, I actually have the propane in here. Again, this is an 11 pound, I'll link it down below on Amazon. It's actually, it's priced really well for what it is. And I just like that it's kind of a little more flush with the side here, uh, if you can tell. And I just, you know, I like using something like that instead of the little one pound propane tanks. And propane is the, is my gas of choice in the winter. Sometimes I'll be lazy and get the little bu butane cans, but they don't work as well in cold weather. So I'll sometimes use them in the summer, but I kind of want to get into the system of just like having one of these here. I got a little mount to mount one onto the Land Cruiser ladder. So I'll show you that when I do it later. And then I'll probably, even though there's no propane on the van, it's all, everything is handled with electric and diesel, which I absolutely love. I may wanna do some cooking outside the van, so I'll probably hook up a propane tank externally and maybe just use the same tanks all around for those. So again, the beautiful setup, diamond back, keeping everything nice and secure inside the front runner rack system on top of that, and the Yak Camper 3.0. I really like this logo. It's kind of crazy because it almost looks black from some angles, but it's definitely like a silver, just kind of a, a more satin, almost matte silver. So I think they did really well. If you have more questions on that about a week ago, I believe, I believe I'm gonna post these videos about a week apart. About a week ago, I posted a whole video talking about that whole setup. And when I don't have the dogs, usually when I go camping without Ashley, I'll leave a Treyu home. Uh, I'll leave Maple home as well, but I like leaving a Treyu home with Ashley because it's kind of good guard dog and stuff. She feels a little better at home with him here. So this is usually their bed. This is a two thirds rear seat delete. I don't know if I've ever actually talked about it or done a video on it, but this was a quick little DIY setup I built. Found a bed that fit perfectly back here to take up basically the uh, two thirds of the seat. Sorry, I'm trying to get this out of the way so you can see. It's kind of a mess back here. But this bed basically is just like a perfect size dog bed for the dog. So I'll maybe talk about that a little bit later. Always with the Pelican case camera bag set up here. And I actually got the new, the new air latches, which are so, so much better. They don't rattle. They're easier to use. Worth, <laughs> worth the upgrade there. Jackery, I uh, just brought the 1000 out this time. So this is a Jackery 1000. Uh, that works nicely. Sometimes I'll bring the 1500 out if Ashley's with and she's gonna be cranking the heated blanket the whole night, but I just kicked it on and off a little bit. Some of the new stuff that I talked about in the upgrade. So this is first, it wasn't really a trail, it was just a dirt road, but uh, power brakes, great through the mountain passes. Loved them a lot. This thing holding up good. Really the whole setup, the whole everything, CBI, everything's just been holding up good for so long. Front runner rack up top and the KC lights 
Love it. And then back here, you guys have seen it, but this is the Vertex Contingency Duffel. Just my favorite duffel, honestly. I use it, I've actually been using this when I travel. I've been traveling, flying way more than I'd like to lately. And rather than, I used to bring uh, a wheeled carry-on and a backpack. Now I just throw everything in this and just throw it over my shoulder and kind of wear it like a backpack. But man, I just love it for using everything. A lot of times when I go camping, I'll just throw everything, my clothes, toiletries, snacks, food, drinks. Uh, in the winter, I don't always bring a Dometic fridge with me. In the summer, I pretty much always will. So a lot of times in the winter, this is it. Just a little duffel that holds everything. Cool, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this fun little casual trip. I will link to everything down in the video description below like I always do. So I have a whole, I have a whole build spec sheet on the Tacoma. If you're interested in that, it's just llod.us slash taco. Cool. All right, guys, I gotta get to it. Uh, leave your comments down below. Love reading them. Uh, let me know you know, what else you wanna see in these Weekender Landers. This is kind of a very casual, fun, quick little one, but it's always a good time to get out. And remember, just cause I have a lot of gear and stuff, I'm kinda, I do this professionally now. Don't wait till, you, like, I hear people saying like, oh, I can't wait till I can build my truck so I can get out camping. Just get out camping now. Even if you don't have a truck, if you have a car. Actually, where we went out, I'm not even ashamed to admit it, Again, it was just a dirt road, but it's kind of off the beaten path, but there was, a, there was a Prius in one of the camp spots. Just a Prius out, having a good time. So don't let it dissuade you. Granted, I love gear, I love building trucks. I, I do go off-roading a fair bit as well, so I do need kind of the off-road capabilities of this, but where we went this time, anyone could go, and it was a great time. So just get out, have fun, pick up your trash, be safe with your campfires, Obey the laws, don't get places shut down, stay the trail, leave no trace, you know, all that good stuff. All right guys, until next time, take care.